Hey everybody, how you all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican cooking journey. Now, this is just a little video showing you all how to clean your turkey neck before cooking. How you prepare your turkey neck before cooking. So what you'll need, what I use, you'll need some white distilled vinegar and you'll need some bicarbonate of soda and two toothpicks or you, uh, a skewer, wooden skewer. I don't have wooden skewers now so I'm using a toothpick. So we're going to get right along inside our sink, get right over here. Right, so you're going to run some water on your turkey neck and you're going to proceed to you have your knife, so all these little parts right here, like these outer parts, you want to proceed to to get them off. And we want a sharper knife than this. This knife is not really sharp. So you want to proceed to right here to take off all of them something here. All these outer parts. So when you go to the supermarket, sometimes they have them clean for you. I'm not sure in your in where you are or what they call it, but when they do it like this for you in the supermarket, they cost more in Jamaica and they call it select. They they, they put select on it, but this is it wouldn't be like the regular again. So you ain't going to need to take off all of these because something right here. So okay, y'all. All of these you don't need these, so you proceed to take them off. Some of them can come off easily. Some of them they can't. This like a thin out um, layer part here. You want to get it right off. All right. Uh -huh. So some of them have it on, some don't, but most of them have it on. So you want to proceed to to get it right off. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna come back. We're gonna take off all of these, and when we come back. We'll show you what it looks like, okay? Okay, now that you have them all cut and all of them nasty outer layer something come off, this is what you want to proceed to do. Now, this is what we got off it. This is, this is all of what we got off it. And it's just a small part, just a few pieces. So, you know, these are some of the little things where Rina really, really want to cook it with it. You cook it with these on it, it really not tastes good. So, you need to clean these. Now, we have another little part to do. Right inside here, um, we have some holes. Inside of each cut, there is a hole, a center hole like this. So, inside of these center holes now, you have... A little white thing yeah right in this is it in the middle hole here you have something look like this you want to use your toothpick that is what you know the toothpick or the wooden skewer for you want to get this out this like a nasty white looking I don't know what it is but you want to get that out okay so it's a little you know depending on what see another piece here so if you push the thing to one end and you don't see it coming out you try to get it at another end it is there it will come out and you try to pick it right out you need to get this out this is what makes it so raw okay so and then you run it under the pipe you have it under the pipe and you try to ensure the smaller ones like this there's a center bone center hole not bone so you push it through and you go right through all of them that most of the times when they when they cut you can see this is one more this is it right look at this one it is so big so you push the pride and you get it right out see there this is what it looks like it's soft enough you know, so sometimes if the meat is more frozen it will come out older but once the meat get hard it will just come out so you know you, you will see it. once it come out the hole just the hole is just plain so you can run your water through it and you get the hole plain when you put the thing the piece here okay so this is what i am talking about this is what you need to get right out of the pieces and then when you get it out you run it under the pipe and run the water to get through all them look a bloody bloodiness coming through you see so you get it right off all right now that all of those has been done what you need to do I don't want these pieces get down inside of my sink to block it at all. What you'll need to do right now, you'll need to 
drain the water. Mm -hmm. And depending on how much turkey neck you have, you want to put on some vinegar. So you put on a little vinegar. Vinegar to substitute water right there. And you're going to put on some, bake, some bicarbonate of soda. And you get that foam coming up. So now you get the foam coming up. You just do it like this. You get that foam. You don't have to leave. If, you, if you're using just the vinegar, then you might want to leave it to soak. But once you put the vinegar with the bicarbonate of soda, you will get the foam coming up. And then now you're going to give it a rinse. Now you rinse it and you're going to drain it. Now look at the color of your turkey neck. All clean, all pretty, all nice. This is how you want your turkey neck looking before you start seasoning it for cooking. Now if you have liked this little prepping for your turkey neck, please to give it a thumbs up. Continue to share the videos, like, and leave your comments below. There you have it. Are you clean your turkey neck before you start seasoning to cook. It's already there now to season. Cook it in whichever way you want it. Okay, y'all? Debbie from Dollar Yard. Just a little information for you all. Love you.